I was just talking to the people that lived here before. They're ghosts. Lived on this ranch in Serrano Valley. And uh, at the beginning over there, uh, there's a post. They said there used to be an American Eagle on that post, and that was the front entrance. And they said, over here, they said, that used to be a, a, a spot for enjoying yourself, and there used to be a band that would play there. Put in water there in that pipe there. It's still there, because the band wanted water. So you could sit under the trees in the shade, and uh, in, the, in the shade, and see the beautiful mountains there. And I said to them, it is just so very hot today. What did you all do in the summertime? And they said, we went straight out to the beach. Right here we have um, the back. Uh, they said that th this is the back two posts that show the end of Serrano Valley and the end of their property. They said past that is Sycamore Canyon. And when they went to the beach in the summertime, they went out this way down to Sycamore Canyon, which is down through a draw down here, and then they turned left and went down to the ocean, they said. Now you know what they said. This here is some of what was left after fire. Beautiful tent countryside, huh? I was just asking because it looks like there was a big fire here Maybe most people that were here perished. I said, did they have any children that survived the, the fire? And, and the lady said, one child survived that heat wave, heat wave thing. So I said, I'm very glad of that. And she said, I'm very glad too. There are some rocks farther down in the stream bed. A very interesting slate blue color very pretty and I asked the lady what they are and she said they are they call them manganese I don't know if that word is used today but I guess that's what they called it back then I thought maybe this might be one of the rocks that they refer to as manganese there's the front gate again and Reston next to the fence is this piece of machinery I'm not too sure what that was. Oh, the gentleman just said he, it was a threshing machine. The gentleman, I guess her husband. Right. Neighbor next door, he said that. Well, I was just trying to clarify who I was talking to on the astral airs, and they explained, the gentleman explained that they were the neighbors and they're still alive and they knew what happened at this place and uh, the son talked too and so that story is they don't mind my saying it on the internet uh, I was just walking around talking to people well, so I, I was just talking to them again and uh, it occurred to me that they might have passed on and might not quite know it so I asked a gentleman, I said, um, when was the last time you had something to eat? And he said, oh, five or six months ago. And, uh, and then the son said, well, that's quite a long time. And I said, how about you? When was the last time you ate? He said, oh, five weeks ago or so. And then there was a silence. And then the lady said, I tried to tell them that they were, they were sad, but they wouldn't listen to me. So I said, well, that's fine. You can, you can stay if you want to. It's real beautiful here. And uh, by the way, do you have your suitcase there? Is your suitcase packed? And they said, yeah. I said, well, if you want to, you can turn, you can go on. You, they said, well, oh, it's a long way. I said, no, not too far. What you have to do, though, is you have to turn around the other direction. And uh, the lady turned around. She said, well, I'm ready. And the man said, well, I'll go with you, honey. And the son said, well, I'll stay here. And the wife said, well, that's enough for me. I'm staying here till you're ready to go. <laughs> and the son said, oh, no, they won't go until I go. And I said, that's fine. You can stay as long as you like. <laughs>